<laughs> Ahoy hoy. Your captain speaking. Jesse Tattoo here. How you doing today? Um, man, <laughs> did we get a bomb dropped on us yesterday? Bit of a blue ball bomb, if you ask me. Well, let me make sure my chat is working here. My chat seems to be working. I seem to have gone live. That is good. Soup. Welcome, my friend. How you doing? <laughs> So I don't know if you caught, but there is a brand new Sea of Thieves trailer. The Hungering Deep trailer has dropped yesterday. I will play it here in a moment, but I want to let this thing... How you doing, Tyler? Welcome to the stream today. Again, talking about the Hungering Deep today. There's some, some news and some serious breakdown. I watched that trailer 20 times last night and broke down everything, and I got some cool tidbits that I don't think everybody spotted. So, without further ado... Let's get into the trailer first. Let's just give you guys the trailer. I'm going to shut this music off. And I've got... Oh, where's the video things? I'm not very good at this. Um, media source. There we go. Um, here we go. Um, browse. I need to get onto the desktop. I got my stuff all ready for us here today so here we go folks hungering deep trailer coming up i'm gonna shut up and let you watch it the life of a pirate is fraught with danger for you see, to journey out onto the waves is to take a step into the unknown. There are things which have lived there and ruled there far longer than us. Hopefully Great you guys can hear that. I hope it's, from not, the uh, it's just silent. Some I've seen with my own eye. Many have tried to gain control over the sea, but it does not it's reward weird. the greedy or impatient. The ancient people encountered monsters so powerful and terrible that they worshipped them as gods. That? Some say that? that the ancients even learned how to summon such creatures. They'd offer a sacrifice, and in return, they were allowed to sail the seas undisturbed. Most would tell you that these are just stories, but I know different. And now I hear whispers from across the waves of ships disappearing without a trace. Sightings of something impossible. <laughs> Just stories. Now, did I ever tell you about a vicious parrot that stole my eye? <laughs> May 29th, everybody. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. So, let's get back into the music here. There we go. Please tell me that had audio. I really hope it did. If not, you can go check it out for yourselves. At any rate, let's um let's see what's going on here as far as my breakdown. Yep, yeah, mark your calendars everybody. Okay, the first thing I want to address from that set of images is fishing. Oh, let me get rid of the logo here. There we be. Fishing. For real. Spears and fishing. Is that confirmed right there? They're fishing with spears. And they're talking about giving an offering, saying they fished too much and that the sea fought back. Got mad at them for overfishing and gave us and then, the, where is it here? Okay. We've seen the image go past really quickly. I gathered them all for you. You tell me this is not a shark. That is not a whale. That is not a normal sized shark. That looks like the, uh, being summoned. These four men here are summoning a giant shark. Come on. This is absolutely 100%. A megalodon. Am I wrong? It's either a mutant shark or a megalodon. 
one or the other. This is this is the hunger from the deep. Now I do believe, and I said this before, that I truly believe that the hungering refers to the bellies, food. There's been pineapples. I don't have pictures. I should have got them. I seen them, and I just didn't prepare enough. There's pineapples, coconuts, fish meat, shark meat, more food coming to the game. I don't know what the food is going to mean, but I do know that it refers to giving an offering to the beast to subside it. Speaking of the offering to the beast, the way to potentially stop the beast or maybe even summon the beast is going to be two ships, as you can see, getting together and playing songs, music, a, a musical summoning, if you will. But notice right there, there is a accordion player, a hurdy-gurdy player, and a drummer. Anybody see that? So there's another item confirmed coming to the game. Drums. Like, it's already been confirmed on, like, Reddit threads and stuff. They've, they've already talked about it, but drums are coming. It is the next instrument. I don't know if it's going to be something... It might be something that's built into, like, a war drum as part of the ship, rather than something that the character pulls out. And if it does pull out, I'm assuming it's going to be, like, some sort of a bongo or a djembe kind of thing, like a little deal. I like this idea. I think having some ships party together is a good idea versus we all thought that these characters were going to have to team up and fight this new enemy and this looks like people are going to have to team up to either summon it or and then fight it i don't know but this is interesting i like this concept i like the idea of people teaming up oh yes oh yes there is more merchant alliances coming we're having map traders i'm pretty positive we're gonna get some form of a jeweler as well where we're going to get some rare jewels to, to socket rings and necklaces and things like that to do maybe minor things, something that doesn't uh, affect player versus player action or, or create too big of a... Uh, 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 like a difference or anything like that, okay? Um, something. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see here. What else do I got? Um, I got a couple other things... I want to talk about, ooh, the beginning of it, the little crab. Did anybody see this? There's a little crab that runs by at the beginning of the trailer. Yeah, I never said I was a, oh, that guy's, <laughs> hey, I am not a good, uh, any word on customization? The word is, uh, they're not giving us what we want right now. By the way, people have been complaining and saying that their characters have been reverted back and they don't know what's wrong. Um, they did sort of a reset, a character reset on everybody and put them back to their original because some of the options were changing in the game for some reason for certain people. So they just wiped the board. If you find yourself logged into the game in nothing but your underwear, relax. All your gear and customizations are just in your boxes. You just got to go put it back on. They just kind of did a reset on a lot of people. So don't stress. Don't freak out. Don't think you lost all your shit. It's still there. Just go put it back on. Anyway, character customizations aside... We might get some better stuff down the road. I'm pumped for tattoos. That actually... Hold on. I got to pick a different picture right now. I got to stop talking about the crab. And I got to talk about this. The tattoo. That is also a shark tattoo. I'm going to enlarge in this picture for a second. Check this out, man. Okay. Not only is that a shark uh, 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 bite on his chest. He's got waves on his arm. And if you look at his other arm, he's got shark fins on here. He is... I wonder if he lost his arms and his legs to sharks. But for real, this guy is covered in shark stuff. So if anybody's trying to tell anything other than the fact that this is a shark, a giant shark coming, you're... I'm sorry. I, I thought it was a whale. I was really kind of hoping a giant whale would swallow ships because that'd be pretty cool. But it's almost positive we're getting... Sharks here, for sure. Um, and more customization will come. You better believe it. I don't know. I have no nothing to state that it's coming at any dates or what specifically is coming. I don't have much more news than you do other than the fact that I try to dive into this stuff as much as humanly possible. Anyway, back to the little crab. Where is he? The little crab there. I want to talk about this guy for a second. I believe that this is a little bit of foreshadowing of another boss. I believe... We are gonna. We've we've seen skeletons on land. We've seen you know pigs and snakes and stuff. 
I think crabs are going to start scuttling around the beaches now. And not only are crabs going to scuttle along the beaches, but I am pretty darn convinced that there's more than just normal crabs in this game. Here's some, some art from the game uh, 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 about... Uh, oh, here we go. Make it a bit better of a size. Sorry, folks. Um, there we go. Sure. It covers up the chat for a second, but that's okay. So this is some of the concept art. That's obviously that cute little crab that was scuttering along the thing. Um, now, this might just be a thing that's running around, nothing to really concern ourselves about. However, I believe this is alluding to a larger enemy. Now this picture right here shows a giant crab eating a person, or battling a person, and people fleeing from it. Hey, how you doing, Enforcer? How you doing, buddy? Welcome, welcome. So this is a giant crab. Look at that. Oh, I got to peek over here. This is a giant crab fighting people. Does that mean that we might have giant crabs to fight as bosses or something down the road? I friggin' hope so. Um, but that's what... I mean, I believe that a lot of the lore in this game is right in front of us. Painted. They have pictures of the good and the bad mermaids all over these islands. There is a lot more in these paintings than I think people realize. You hope not. Oh, God. Yes, big bosses. Come on. We got a giant shark coming. We got a giant crab coming, let's hope. Crabzilla, man. That'd be rad. A huge crab? You kidding me? Ugh. Something like, uh, did I have a, I thought I had a picture of a crab somewhere here. I'm not going to look for it right now. I want to stay on target. But again, whoa, that picture is huge of the fish. But again, I want to bring up the fact that those men in those boats in that video had spears. And they were talking about collecting, collecting things to offer as an offering, a sacrifice an offering to the sea god. So I believe there's going to be some form of a fishing mechanic coming where we have to gather fish to offer to the beast, maybe? Speculative. Who knows? Something like that. People have been bitching about fishing and they know. They want... Everybody wants fishing. It's, it's like already like triple, quadruple confirmed. It's coming eventually. I kind of think it's coming with this. I really do. Um, and again, I'll bring up that other picture of the spear dudes fishing right here they're fishing man they are fishing there is two three fish in this picture right here well a shark and two fish and they're holding spears so i believe spears is going to be a new weapon that we're going to have as well maybe you know to like uh compensate for the sword underwater maybe a little bit better of a fish weapon to help us fight sharks and other other underwater enemies of some sort it's it's got to come eventually um actually here i've got um a loop somewhere media source right here the shark i just want to play this for a second so you can yeah Many here we go try to I'm gain it's on loop the fishing thing the here sea, for a second while but I'm it talking. does not reward the greedy or impatient oh. there let me shut it up but that is absolutely 100% a megalodon that they're summoning and or subsiding with music. I can't tell if they're summoning it with music. It's what it kind of seems like. But then they also make mention of giving it an offering to subside the beast for safe passage, which is probably fish meat, something like that. I don't know exactly, but there's a lot more going on in that trailer than most people thought, I think. Let me give it one more run here. But again, that's fishing. It's coming, man. Fishing, fishing, fishing. I'm freaking excited. I can't wait to, like... I was kind of hoping for a fishing reel. We could just sit on the deck and fish and drink grog and have be merry men, I guess. But I'll settle for some spear fishing. I'll take it. Yep, if that means that there's going to be more fish and just more, I'll take it, man. I will absolutely take it. Hey, Swan, thank you. How you doing? Is the game dead? Having a rough week, but I don't think it's dead. Uh, 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 for anybody that's not in the know, uh, they pretty much rolled back all the patches that they did last week. They basically broke the game. Um, but they fixed it. 
it's working. New music, yeah, the drum man for sure. That's that's a thing, absolutely. Um, I'll pull that up again. Um, I, I I absolutely one hundred percent am kind of stoked on this whole new music, like not only new songs, new instruments, um, the spears, so new weapons, new items, um, more customizations are going to be coming. They've talked about um, uh, a Kraken steering wheel. I don't have a picture, but some of you have seen it. There's a Kraken steering wheel in one of the shops. They've talked about ship customizations like that, and um, there's going to be some other new customizations coming of, like, the mast, um, potentially customization of the captain's quarters once you start getting into that captaincy, um, which is the next rank past legendary pilot. You become Or pirate. I said pilot. <laughs> um, you become a legendary captain, not just a legendary pirate. So don't go freaking out saying, oh, we're done the game, we're max level. No, you're just a max pirate. Now you got to be a max captain. <laughs> got to really get that uh, get that mustache wax on there so that the men know you're freaking serious. At any rate. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying these weird live newscasts. I kind of like doing this. Um, I'm going to keep doing this. I think this is fun. I'm going to kind of try to dial in my desk here so I can get it a bit better so maybe I can actually place my coffee down on the desk or something. It's kind of a weird setup. But hey, this is infancy, man. I just starting this thing out. I'm just just figuring it out. So let me know. Don't forget in the comments below if you like it or not. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already part of the Cool Kid Club, man. Because uh, I cover the shit out of this game. <laughs> For real. Like, um, I have not... I have to apologize, actually. I have not been covering it as much and in as depthly as I would like to have um, this past two weeks... My computer turned into a friggin' potato, and I got malware up the yin-yang, and I am very lucky that I'm able to broadcast. But I can't record anything. All my editing softwares are acting up right now. Um, so, necessity creates the in mother of invention, or whatever that saying is. Because look at this cool set I built because I was unable to record, and I had to do something that I felt was worthy enough of your attention. Uh, am I playing Paladin soon? Um, you know, probably not today. I might try to do some tomorrow for a stream because I kind of owe uh, MGN either tomorrow or the next day. I owe a stream, but my mother's in town. <laughs> my mom's here. And uh, I only got a, a couple days with her, so I'm kind of helping her set up this craft show thing that she's been doing, and I'm, so I'm kind of busy this weekend. Um, I'll try, buddy. If I can, man, I'll let you know. I uh, definitely want to play some Paladins with you. So anyway, as I was saying, don't forget to like and subscribe. Because that's what cool kids do. And uh, that's how you know when I go live doing these doing these things. And anytime there's any news in Sea of Thieves, if there's something worth talking about, I'm going to come in and tell you guys right away. That's my promise to you. As soon as I can, within 24 hours or less... I'll be on here with a breakdown telling you as much as I know and more. So, don't forget to subscribe because it's... Yeah. Because it's what I do. <laughs> Cheers, folks. Have yourself a good day. Be good to each other on them high seas. Oh, before I go, urge back up the train. I forget the guy's name. He'll know who he is in the comments. You mention it and I'll... Uh, I'll, I'll tag or a pin your comment if you mention it in the comments after this goes live. Um, but this one fellow had mentioned uh, a way to show intent. Uh, a white flag, as it were. Your cannons on your boat, point them all straight up in the air. If you have no intention on fighting other players, if you are a solo player and you are just out having your own fun and don't want to fight and are going to try to constantly avoid fighting, which people do, that's cool. You're allowed to be a pacifist pirate point your gun straight up in the air. That shows the fact that you are not ready to fight. Um, you will be a target. Understand that. That if you put your arms up in the air, you're very easily going to be shot. But some people will see that and leave you alone. It's just a possibility. It's something I believe is a good idea and it's something that maybe we, more people should give it a try. So guns up if you don't want to fight. Guns down if you're ready for a battle. Anyway, keep that in mind, folks. Be good to each other out on the seas. And I'll see you real soon.
Tschüss.